Tourists and locals have been treated to a festival of thrills and adrenaline-pumping water sports at the Easter Festival in Port Alfred in the Eastern Cape. Highlights include surfing, bodyboarding and inflatable boat racing. Making a big splash as the water extravaganza debuts in Port Alfred. Organizers Wilenzima and Quinty says he's secured a sponsor for the next five years and seeing the event take off is a lifelong dream. When I took early retirement, I thought when we get to Port Alfred, I must hook up with my partner, Dave Lawson. And then I said, let us have now a water sports festival, which is going to be going on, you know, for, for the rest of the year uh, to keep the coastal line and the Eastern Cape, you know, uh, busy. That, that, that was my dream. Surfing, bodyboarding, and inflatable boat racing dominate the waves. This event is really special because it incorporates something that we don't have in our calendar. Um, and that's what we call the Barnacle Challenge. We in our Canada have long hauls and surf racing and yeah, at this specific event there's something that's called the Barnacle Challenge which we'll be doing tomorrow. And that is where we race down the river which is about one and a half k's down the river out the sea and about three or four k's at sea and then back up the river. So you're incorporating completely flat water and the surf together which is one of a kind. In the crowd a unique tourist who's doing more than just appreciating the skill on display. Now one of the things that immediately strike you here is that there are no blacks involved in this uh, uh, rubber boats here. And it is quite obvious that without the financial support, which can only come from government as far as we are concerned, to get these youngsters, our black youngsters, a foot into the sport, especially a sport that is expensive. And I think by coming here, I am in a better position to talk to government. Yet more water fun with the annual bodyboarding tournament. And who better than a world-ranked champion to tackle rough seas to win his heat? We call this event West Beach Warfare, um, just because it's simply like we are actually going to war out here. This wave is a very powerful wave. Um, it comes from quite deep water and when it hits this, this wall behind us it actually does some crazy stuff and is allow, it allows us to do some really good maneuvers and uh, get some good rides. Next year organizers promise to attract more international participants and add more events as they grow Port Alfred into the water sport capital of the Eastern Cape. Sandy McCowan, Port Alfred.